Oh, yeah. It's the bonfire. I'm your host, Big Joe Okerson. I can't see gentleman over there is Dan Soder. Thank you. My life and work partner. Thank you for calling me handsome. You're super handsome, dude. dude. That's the dig on you. Did you not know that? I didn't know that. Absolutely. You think so? Do you it, want to take my shirt off? It is. I don't know if the dig on you is like you have a sick bod. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely not the dig so on you. So shirt it. off might be a weird thing, but uh, but whenever people describe why you're made for success in entertainment is, you know, hilarious, good-looking dude. Tall. Wow. You know what I, I consider myself physically? Like a um, a bowl of frosted mini-wheats that has had milk in it for a little bit. <laughs> so I'm crispy for the most part. But there are some soggy bites in there, and that soggy bite is my torso. It's good. It's good. That's a good dig to have on you, though, right? Yeah. You're handsome. I mean, I like that. That's, That's I, pretty great. I don't, you can tell I was raised with zero confidence because I don't oh, me too. Like, view I view myself as that. That's never the dig on me is that I'm good looking. It's, uh, I've, heard, I've, I've, heard, I've heard compliments I'm that you are looking. good looking. I've never heard odd looking. I've heard that you are good looking. In fact, I've heard that from uh, multiple waitresses Boom. at a couple comedy clubs that mm. you are, in fact, handsome. Ooh. I handsome. think they find me sexy because my stage confidence. I think that, I'll tell you this, I think that elevates. I think it does, too. No, I said before, if you catch me in my uh, element, that's why I say, like, grabbing chicks yeah. historically, like, my powers are nil outside of that, that world of doing comedy. I uh, Maybe I'm wrong about that, but in my in my mind, to walk into a bar and be like, oh, I just met some girl at a bar one day, yeah, and she really dug me. Not that it can't happen. If I'm able to talk, I can kind of do that, but I think if you catch me at a show, after a show, like I think you see me in my environment. I think women are attracted to the other qualities outside of looks. Well, they show also you're hilarious, and that's like they watch you be hilarious in front of people. Yes, and there's also but there's also an alpha quality to it, I think, that... Uh, yeah. I think particularly the way I do it, it's not, it's just like... Uh, yeah, because you bark I, on stage like kinda, EMX. <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean, <gasps> I try to conduct the room. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, in, in that regard, so they kind of It's a very, me. might I say, controlling way. <laughs> yeah. You hold people's game. Show motherfuckers what time it is. I'm really good at being the friend. Like, if we're at a barbecue and you're like, oh, mm -hmm. this is my friend Dan. I'm like, I'm about to charm the shit out of you. Yeah. Yeah. And don't Not even... comedy club. Comedy club, I'm very, I'm odd because I'm like, I want to hang out with comics and I want to do comedy. No, I, me too. But I'm very bad at, I'm, I'm not good at hooking up with girls there because my friends are there mm -hmm. and I feel weird hitting on girls in front of my friends because this. This goes back to like when I was in middle school and my friends would like make fun of me. Be like, what do you think she's going to like you? And you're like, ah, uh, it all goes back to that psychology of me being like, oh, my friends are here and they know that I'm a big dumb asshole. <laughs> well, I really don't like go for road pussy anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I, never... I, I, mean I mean, even like, uh, like the, the hunt for it, like the go follow us here. Me neither. Or... I would much rather get high and watch Netflix. Yeah. I think we've uh, both kind of acknowledged that before, but I'm just saying. The environment where I feel like I walk out and I'm like, oh, there's, I think, a couple of chicks in there, like, wanted to hang out at least more and, like, you know, they yeah. were into me. And I think that has to do with the comedy. Yeah, I, I don't feel like, if I walked up to, like, a, a super hot chick at a bar and yeah. left, I don't feel like when I leave, she goes, I want to find out more about him. <laughs> For one, because I've probably already told her everything about me because yeah. I think the only way she'll be interested is if I'm like, so I'm a comedian, television, radio show, blah, 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 blah. upcoming hour special. Yeah, a lot, a lot of stuff going on. Okay. Hey, you should fly away with me to one of my several gigs that are not in this town. <laughs> <laughs> you should travel with me where we are one-on-one -on -one and you have to almost listen to me. I am almost TSA approved, pre-check. <laughs> I don't mean to brag, but I've been a Delta Gold member <laughs> for over 18 months. I travel. Pretty frequently. You ever get finger popped in the Delta Sky Lounge? I don't know if you feel like sucking some dick in the bathroom of a Courtyard Marriott, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure all I gotta do is put my credit card down for incidentals, and we can make this happen. Every time my mushroom cap hits your tonsils, I get five extra points. <laughs> and then we can upgrade to a suite in a secondary market if you want to go with me again. My Hilton Honors is barreling over right now. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I'm like, on the road, a girl would have to kamikaze pussy me in order for me to like be like, oh, okay. Like She would have to be like, hey, dude, I'm down to bang you. And I'd be like, but I was going to watch WrestleMania 4 again in my <laughs> hotel room after I eat an edible and put on sweatpants. I think I get more 
uh, interest sometimes I see, I think we're, uh, I get interest from the staffs, like the wait staff sometimes at comedy on the road. I mean, on yeah. the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, well, you're an interesting act. They like, think. they like that it's not the same. Yeah. Cause they're like, oh, hey. Every show, yeah. See, my, my ankle with the wait staff on the road is I'm usually super apologetic because people are getting sent home because <laughs> that's not full. Hey, how you doing, Ashley? Dan Soder, formerly of MTV 2's Guy Court. Uh, probably going to miss your Friday early shift. <laughs> Looking like it's only going to be about 50 to 70 people. Yeah, here's good news, though. You had that party you had to cancel because you were working tonight? Yeah, you're good you to go, go to it. Still go. Hey, that babysitter money you're spending? Don't got to spend it. You get to see your little boy because I'm not good at my job. Uh, you get to see your little boy. <laughs> By the way, um, we are new, not live. So if you're wondering why we haven't given the phone number, for this episode i think we've made sure that at all costs we're at least new not live. we try to give you new as possible here's the here's the sad part next week we're off um when um, so next week you're gonna get next to, week you're a boat you're next week you're at a motorboat yeah, i'm a motorboat yeah and then we have an la show coming up yeah we're, How gonna, badass do, is we're that? gonna do two i think in la by the way tried reaching out to a porn star to become our titty fuck expert who I'm not going to tell you, because if it lands, I I, of course you do, but I want it to come through. And so far, there's no bite. Not even... Do you want to take a guess? Not even a response? Do you want to take a guess? At the porn star? Yeah. Gianna Michaels. Yes! Of, of course. course. We yeah. talked about her in a whole episode. Yeah, but I tried to reach out to her to see if she would call in... On to, Twitter. ...to surprise on Instagram. Okay. No dice. Did she get back at all? No. Not even one Shut thing down. back. Just completely... The Kembe Mutombo'd me. Just... No, but that, to, 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 to give him a tumbos is giving you a no. This is just like uh, I don't answer. Yeah, probably Instagrams. Like there was there was no response in any way. Yeah, no. It was like you had a back and forth, and then she shut down on that. Oh, that would have been great. I, I I probably could at least got a phone call, and we're a legitimate radio show. Could you possibly, possibly date a porn star? No, no. I, this isn't about. No, I know. I know. Um, I'm just. I'm. I'm, I'm no. Yeah, I'm maybe, pothead zoning into a, a subject. Yeah. Dating a porn star for me would be hard because I would just feel inadequate. Yeah. I think that's the, basically the main knock on that, right? When you feel... I mean, some guys would have a problem with her having sex with other guys. I yeah. Mean, well, but here's the thing. Like, well-defined, well-hung dudes that are just dumb, so their only purpose is to fuck. Oh, yeah. Where they're so, just like, I don't know, you want me to bang her over on the shower, or do you want me to bang? Hey, uh, Ron, that camera angle last time kind of hurt my pecker. Uh, I got, I got, but I got nine, and I'm half full. Yeah, I, I tell you, I, I don't, I don't even know if it's her just like taking, getting railed by big dick. It's just the ex, the accessibility, yes, of which people, anyone, can see her like doing the most foul of foul things. I actually, in a strange way, don't mind that. No, I, I don't mind it in if, if, if who it's for. I don't care about certain people seeing my chicken neck. <laughs> so you want to be like the bouncer on her seeing her naked? Like you hold the velvet <sighs> rope. You're like, you can see my chick's twat. You can't. I, like, I want to be the boyfriend at the, uh, the strip <laughs> club waiting for his chick. Oh, is there a sadder? <laughs> I don't. Here's the thing Denise, about, sorry, Bubbles. Do you have yeah. to grind your ass so deep yeah. into his dick? Hey, Jenna. Yeah, it was me. I watched that whole. I'm sorry, God, baby. I'm sorry. All right, Cheyenne. Listen, <sighs> stop yelling. I don't like that you go in the private room with that businessman. You went into two songs. What are you doing? You're doing. What's interesting is some of those porn stars. When you see, you know, they're taking all that muscular, good looking. <laughs> they date uh, schlubs like me. Schlong. I mean, like they. Some of them are with like older, bald. Fact, and it's clearly like a money thing. Is it though? Does Maybe they great? just love the opposite of what they're getting. Well, so here was the same personality that kind of goes in the porn that you can kind of catch with that "I'll take care of you" thing, which makes them in their fucked up porn star brains like actually fall in love with the person. Here's the reason Does that I, makes sense. Like, yes. I, I, like I do for whatever reason because no one was coming down on her enough for her to have to lie that much. I believe like Anna Nicole Smith weirdly had some love for that creepy old like Grizz that she was. Yeah, like. I mean, because he pulled like she was a fucking whatever you know some I know, Alabama what? back fucking room she, trash. Oh, she's like no, she's like yeah, no, she's like Texas Creek <laughs> middle of nowhere eight man football trash. I mean yeah, like she's like she, she got she was, she was garbage. The golden I ticket, mean, so hot, so crazy hot, hot. in her prime especially. Uh, I remember just, jerking off to her in Playboy. 
Yeah. I mean, I think she was, she was like my favorite. She was your favorite. At one point, man. She was, she was like when I did. And by the way, as the guest girl is where I was like, really, yeah. like, holy shit. Yeah. Got I'm real. Not, I'm not a thin chick. Her kissing that old man. Oh, my Christ. It's like when you nut with a chick that you don't like, <laughs> and then you have to kiss. Like, when you just like, that's how I would, you're like, okay, buddy. I thought it was going to be like a cartoon. They'd make out, and she'd, she'd pull away, and like his teeth would be on her tongue still. <laughs> he's dead yeah but i believe she had a genuine like yeah because i think it's a different kind of love but at the same but i I still believe like wanting to i mean they didn't fuck obviously i don't don't know what do you think oh she i think she said like she was like dance around yeah yeah and he'd just be like his shut shut down body (laughs) just like yeah (laughs) just getting all ramped up I just imagine cartoon steam blowing. He's like, He's like I feel like she has to dance to like uh, that old like Glenn Miller music. Like, yeah. nah, 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 nah. There's a star in the sky, and she's like, Hey baby, hey baby. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. He's the buggy 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 boy for company. Do you want me to dance for you? He's like, Hey, <laughs> <laughs> he's just breathing weird. <laughs> He's breathing like a bulldog. (laughs) (laughs) You need a lot of of mouth crack. (laughs) Keep dancing. (laughs) There's a nurse, like, making, helping him clap while she's dancing. (laughs) Oh, miss, miss, and now you want me to rub this, this thing against your crotch? She has a rub pad, and you can just rub together. Like they're sharpening a knife. (laughs) Tiger balming his dick up, <laughs> trying to give it some sensation. Because he's so rich, he can afford someone to do that. So he's just like, rub my whole dick. I want to I watch you dance. <laughs> you try to my... I'm almost achieving an erection. And she's like bored, like, there you go, man. Watching her fucking massive tits <laughs> knock into each other. <laughs> she has to wear like a... <laughs> the finger up. She's one skidooing while she's wearing... <laughs> She's wearing one of those bathing suits that's very tasteful and comes down to the yeah. knees. She's got a sash that says, like, uh, we won the war. <laughs> He's like, this, this everything I've wanted to see. <laughs> D-Day. Oh, I once was with a Jap girl. She was so <laughs> smooth. He's got old racism. <laughs> Dude, my grandmother cannot be talked out of saying Oriental. Really? She just says you're wrong? She's just like, that's how I refer to him. And I'm like, yeah, but that's the incorrect way to refer to Asian people. We were going to a 49er game two seasons ago, and this lady laughed, and we had the window down. My grandmother's looked at her and goes, huh, I could tell from that woman's laugh she was an Oriental. And you go, hey, yeah, Nana, not cool. <laughs> that's, what the fuck are you talking about? My apologies. A dink. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop saying that. But I've, like, tried. Well, slope seems unsensitive. I'm going to be visiting her. I think that that's why we're recording this episode. I'm gonna be out in California. Is it your nana? Is your racist nana? nana? <laughs> She's not racist. She just has improper terms. Maybe that trip you can uh you could turn her around like Guy Tory in American History X, <laughs> and show that the end the end of your trip is just you guys taking the swastika flag down from her roof. <laughs> She's got padded pants on, just like Edward Norton when he got raped. <laughs> she has to sit on a pad mostly because she's 87. Thank you, Daniel, for showing me this was all bullshit. I've learned that. Asians are referred to as Asians, <laughs> and not Orientals. Carpets are Oriental. You know who I knew? Anna Nicole's husband. <laughs> <laughs> he died. How? How? Do you think she did a Gretzky-like fist pump when he died? Like sliding on her knee, like that it? Because that was the beginning of the end for her, right? Because then it was all the court battles. Well, then she got herself back in like. Looking pretty good. Looking great. Oh, she was on that crazy um, meth- hydroxy cut. Yeah, the meth pills. <laughs> <laughs> so, anybody want to watch me shoot through some drywall? <laughs> She's just all jacked up. She's like, I'm probably going to wrestle a bear. Why? <laughs> She's mm-hmm. bench pressing that Jewish lawyer guy that was always with her. Ah, that wasn't that her husband? Her his name Howard was like- K. Stern. Yeah, Howard K. Stern. Um, not what did she like? Media. Did she like secretly marry him or something? It was it was a like, little known thing, but then she had the. The kid was with the model guy. If you were... Wait, I think she had died in like an SVU style mystery. <laughs> <laughs> gong, gong. <laughs> the stuff, they really, it really was written for a Law and Order episode. Well, they ended up 
doing it. Or I CSI. I believe they did a Law and Order. You know, they do the from the headlines kind of like. I never they, got into Law and Order. They put that disclaimer up that says any, uh, like, you know, any similarity to, to a real life situation is completely coincidental and whatever. And without exaggeration, this is an obvious like Anna Nicole Smith, <laughs> Howard Case. Like David Cross was in it, I believe. He really? Played, I think he played the Howard Case Stern. Um, I never got into. I never got into Law and Order. Any of them? None of them. D'Onofrio, bro? Dude, love him in Men in Black. Love him in most of his work. You got any sugar? <laughs> well, he didn't sound like the bug. And... Yeah. Oh, he was great on Criminal Intent, dude. Never got into it. He was good. I feel like that's a slippery slope. Like I, I'm going to get into it. I'm afraid to use, because I feel like if I try it, I'm going to binge. That's the beauty of it. Though. It's always on. If there's just nothing else on the watch, you can always put on a Law and Order SVU or Criminal Intent. But What SV- episode? SVU. You know what? Tweet. At the Bonfire SXM episodes of Law and Order for me to watch. To what the best up. ones are? Best ones. I want to know. I want to go in with some with some hits. I'm not going in with some. Now hits. they start having like through storylines. That's I, fine. I don't want. Go back in time. We can find it. It's the oh, internet. Dude, Chris Maloney. He used to fucking beat the shit out of people when he catch him. Stabler, Detective Stabler. <laughs> I don't know. I got to get into Detective it. Detective Stabler. What he, I mean, he was. Uh, internal affair, IA, they're up his ass constantly. <laughs> I just love police talk, so I'm fine with it. That's why I like The Wire so much. <laughs> I love saying, uh, it's one of my favorite Colin Quinn jokes, is he does that joke where black teenagers talk like old cops, and old cops talk like teen- black teenagers. He's like, yo, 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 homeboy, go get, your, uh, go get your boy. Go get your boy. And then the black kid's like, yo, that's a 215. You can't arrest him for that. <laughs> I think Colin might be doing it in his new... It's fucking yo, you're one of my, Yeah, one of my favorite jokes. But yeah, I don't. I never got into Law and Order. I had an ex girlfriend that was like religiously into it. Really? Yeah. But law, the regular Law and Order, weak ass I, shit. I couldn't wait. Couldn't pretend to even want to watch one episode of that. Jay doesn't want that. You want I don't want to watch you. fucking baby's dad solving fucking crimes. I like when he's on vacation, getting mad that his daughter's bonking Swayze. I got. <laughs> I got that was a, a long roundabout Jerry Orbach reference, but I loved it. I hoped everyone got his daughter was the one that fucked. Swayze in yeah his daughter was baby he was the, he oh, baby's yeah. dad yeah I forgot he was in Dirty Dancing that's the line remember he goes to the end he goes I know you weren't the one who got Penny in trouble when I'm wrong I say I'm wrong and he looks at his daughter and he goes you were wonderful out there <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird change of pace he goes I know you didn't knock up some chick and make her have a fucking camping campsite abortion <laughs> yeah but and by the way honey nailed it yeah also you were amazing out there great job those lessons really paid off <laughs> Don't do why I just got this song out of my head this morning. I swear to God. Why was it in your head? Lewis and I kept singing it to each other. Why? Because it's funny to sing to your friends. Did you have the time of your lives? Yeah. <laughs> we danced together. Did you do the lift? I couldn't lift him up. <laughs> Jennifer Warren? Is that who's singing this? We should I pride here, myself on knowing. Here it comes. Nailed it. Ooh. Uh-oh. There's some dancing going on at the bonfires. Yeah, do you want to be the guy or the girl? I I'm the, the girl. whole thing. Lift me. Wait and hear some wrong. And you found some won't survive me. I don't know the words. But I know the chorus. I just want to go, I remember. <laughs> This is the real version of the song. Just two drunk people in a trailer. Say, no, memorable. I love, dude. I love now that they keep finding all those like uh, those feeds of people singing like the sound, the actual soundboard. What? You ever hear that? They're like with with no filter. Like they're singing oh, with the soundboard. Oh, they've got like real the they real got, version the, of people the, singing. The only two uh, I heard was uh, Beyonce and Enrique Iglesias. Can we please do Enrique Iglesias? Uh, dude, we should do them both. It's no, not dirty dancing. It's uh them without the auto tune. It's, 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 it's just them. Uh, Beyonce, you, you put on Enrique Iglesias. Uh, no filter. No filter, bro. Him going off the dome. Politics. Money, <laughs> race, Enrique Iglesias, the way you've always Hot wanted him. Buttons, honest. <laughs> Hello, I'm Enrique Iglesias. Um, Not yet. <laughs> nah, we oh, come it. on, Lou Dog. Yeah, get it on, Lou Dog. Enrique Iglesias, like soundboard or something like that. Put in. You got to find it. This is so. I'm still dancing back, here, so you can keep going. 
No. I feel no, like if I was just put soundboard, it's dude. This is like it's, it's like him singing. Uh, I don't know if it's like by it's like mama. <laughs> I'll leave a life forever. <laughs> so the reason I'll take you over. <laughs> Did I ever tell you the story about that? Uh, while Lou looks us up about that. Like 250 pound cholo that wanted to fight me inside of a grocery store in Tucson, Arizona. No. I got really high one afternoon when I was in college, which I get high every afternoon. But it was when they used to replay the late night with Conan on Comedy Central. Yeah. And they did in the year 2000. Uh-huh. And uh, I wanted some Golden Grams. So I was very high and I drove to the Fry's supermarket on the corner of Ina. The same Fry's grocery store where that senator got shot by that crazed gunman in Tucson, Arizona. Same parking lot. Sick. Crazy, right? <laughs> so I'm high, walk in to the Fry's, and I start singing that to myself. I'm very stoned. And I'm like, in the year 2000. And I just start laughing, like really laughing. like. <laughs> and I'm walking down the aisle, and I just hear this dude go, what the fuck are you laughing at, white boy? And I look over. And it's this fucking tatted up cholo, Mexican gangster, white, clean tee, down to his knees. Oh, no. Just standing there with his... <laughs> <laughs> just standing there with his girlfriend, and he's holding his baby, his newborn baby. And he gives it to his girlfriend. He's like, what the fuck's so funny? And I'm so high that I'm like, he's not talking to me. So I just keep walking. He starts following me around the grocery store. Like, at a distance where he's like, and I am terrified i think i'm like nine, 18 19 and i'm just like walking and i'm like what the fuck what the fuck and i go and i get some milk and he's like yeah man and he's just being quiet to the to a certain point that i'm like i can't say anything and we're walking around the grocery store he's just following me and i get in line a lady gets behind me and then he gets behind her and all i have is a gallon of milk <laughs> and i'm just buying the milk and he's talking shit around the lady he's like you fucking think, what's up? You want to laugh at me? What's up, man? You want to laugh? And I'm like, I did, I wasn't laughing at you. He's like, oh, yeah? You laughed right in my face. And I was like, no. And there's just, just this woman standing there in between us. And I'm like, no, I wasn't laughing at you, man. And he's like, fuck you, man. We'll see what's up when I get outside. And I was like, no. And I, I'm like paying for the milk as this is going on. And I pay for the milk, and I just grab the gallon and fucking dart. I'm just gone. With I was a like, gallon of milk? Ah, yeah, yeah, just carrying a oh, gallon shit. of milk. And I just... But your left arm was jacked oh, when you got my, home. I threw my shoulder out like a pitcher. I got it. I threw it in the car and just backed up and went. And was like, got home and did that thing where you're smoking a bowl, but you're out of breath. You're like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was terrified. It was one of the most... I know, fucking, it happened. It would have been funnier if you had to explain to him... Uh, Year two thousand, it, it, it cuts to you like standing in front of this cholo, going like, "In the year two thousand, <laughs> just singing it for him." He's like, "I don't get it." He goes, "I don't know. I'm not reading the late night TV so much, man." Man, I'm more of a Leno guy. He really lays <laughs> it out there, you know. It's like it's right up to date. You know, he doesn't fuck around, man. That Conan, he's you know, it's subjective, really. I found out very recently Conan's headlines are made up. Yeah, oh man, I'd like and don't get me wrong, I love the hip dancing and cutting the string on the hip. <laughs> That shit's hilarious. But the rest of the stuff, man, I think it's just too, you know, too heady, man. <laughs> Definitely some Ivy League writers in that room. That's more hipster shit. Yeah, I feel like Jay Leno is, is monologues just like right at the guy, you know? Like, here's what's funny and happened today. I'm more than like middle of the country comedy. I mean, really, honestly, if I was doing some sort of, I don't know, like focus group or probably like a random survey, I'd probably say I'm a Leno guy. I never, I think Letterman's an asshole and Conan's too heady, man. <laughs> hey, Jefe, how you feel about Ellen DeGeneres? Love the dancing, man. I love it, man. <laughs> Fucking love that shit. Anyways, white boy, never laugh at my girl again or I'll straight up like shoot you in the store. <laughs> trying to get crazy with this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't you know I'm loco? Oh, God damn it. There's no way you can't play that screech after that song. It's the best. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. Scary Mexicans, dude. And he was big. Huge. Big Bigger than the eye could see. They're either tiny or huge, huh? 
I'm doing the oh, boat God. next week with uh, Suicidal Tendencies. Yeah, dude. That's a bunch of cholos. Dude, Suicidal Tendencies are fucking awesome. You love them? Yeah. You got a gr- you, dude, the cruise you're doing is awesome. Motorhead, Suicidal Tendencies. Slayer. Slayer! What the fuck? Dude, how awesome is Slayer Bonnaroo? They were awesome. You know, I know like, we talked so, about it a little bit. But he, but, was, he was just so like... We said that he just so... They were so out of place there. Yeah. And and but they just got so embraced by that crowd. It was so not nice. only that, but they like it was when they knew they were being embraced. They just started fucking killing it. Yeah, like they got into it. You could tell the first two songs. They're like these these fucking hippie Tennessee music festival kids aren't going to dig this shit. And then like when there was three separate pits going, and they're I like, mean, yeah, and Ari. Shafir hit everyone. He went to every one. He got in every fucking. And he came bed. out and complained about being covered in sweat, like, like a yeah. true Jewish man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a fucking tent festival. Came out just being like, oh, but the, the bumping was the bumping necessary. <laughs> he got yeah, clobber, a, I think, a couple yeah. times. He, I, not the one I saw. The one I saw, he did. He did okay, but then he went into the mass, and I went back to you. I went back to hang out with you and smoke more pot. <laughs> I know, because me and you also are like. The two people where it's like the last uh, transport to the hotel is two thirty, and me and you just have the same mentality of like, well, then I'll be there two fifteen because mm-hmm. I'm not missing that last thing. And Ari's just like, let's go fucking start a fire somewhere. Guys, I feel like we could sleep in trees tonight. <laughs> I said that when we were at the festival. Ari went full native. He just fucking went and just like embraced. He's like, we'll get back, we'll get back. But, yep. And he did. He always got back every night. But he I, w- he won the outdoor cat award. <laughs> You can just let them outdoors. Norman ended up at a farm somewhere. Blowing backs out. <laughs> Norman and his sexy adventures. <laughs> I know. Me and you just like, we had our, we both had our chicks. I was getting bossed around. And, <laughs> and you were bossing around. <laughs> so I was being bullied. Uh, I was just being bullied by a beautiful woman all weekend. I'm bullying Christine. Yeah. Me and your chick just high five and bet our bitches. Me and Christine are just giggling. <laughs> yeah, but when they're good, they're good. <laughs> My man love me. I mean, he put his hands on me, but when he good, he good. How else he gonna prove it? He love me. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna we gotta take a break, right, Lou? Oh, right. right. <laughs> we're gonna go find. We're gonna, we're gonna find that fucking Enrique Iglesias. Let's do that. You got it. Yeah. All right, we're gonna Is play this that. It? One. Is this it for sure? We'll play it when we get back. We're gonna take a break. Listen to the. Bonfire. You're listening to Comedy Central, Central Radio. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Yeah, we're going punk rock, punk rock today, right here on the bonfire. Big Jokers and Dan Soder. When we last left you in our adventures, da, da, da. all punk rock, all Wednesday. Oh wait, Monday. It's Monday. Monday. <laughs> Monday. Monday. I'm in love. <laughs> um. So we were talking about singers that uh, without the finish. Yeah, and we found the video. Filter. It does make you feel like you could become. A singer also. It's no, a, a image. Not, I think it doesn't make me feel like I could be a singer as much as it makes me feel like less shit about myself because I'm like, oh, you are human. You're not just a perfect songstress that just nails it every yeah. you know. Enrique but, Iglesias, gorgeous man. I know. And he gorgeous. Made enough mo- he, when he made enough money, he got rid of that fucking schmutz on his face. Did he zap the mole? Oh, yeah, it's gone. He did? He took it off? Yeah. Good for... I, I wonder he left how- it on Anna Kornikova, sniz. He was like, I, I left a tip. <laughs> Ear. Ears it. No, no. yet. <laughs> no, the... Don't get so up. I'm leaving, Enrique. No, yet. I want to get up off of my bed. Please let me get off of stomach. <laughs> no. No, yet. <laughs> no, yet. <laughs> I like as long as you, how long you can hold the end. <laughs> no, yet. No. No, yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's turning into An- Antonio Banderas taking a dump. Yeah, like hey, a- hey, uh, uh, hey, Anthony, I think I'm going to leave. Uh, no. No, yet. Yeah. Hey, the plumber's here. Shall I let the plumber in? No. No, yet. Yeah. <laughs> no. No is good. Ay. Oh boy! Adios, mio. Oh, that was a three flusher. I think I've got the scotty buddy. <laughs> it helps. Huh? <laughs> I think it's time to buy a squatty party. You don't have squatty party yet, Antonio? Get one. No, the yeah. <laughs> it corrects your colon. Did you know that Western toilets aren't accurate? Uh, how honored do you think the doctor was? That got to remove that mole. <laughs> He's got it in plastic on his wall. <laughs> you know what that is? 
Enrique Iglesias' face. <laughs> I like when they, uh, man, remember that porn star the thing where she put her pussy lips in like plastic? No. What? Houston, the girl that got just oh, yeah. ragged out. She was that. on a documentary, Life After Porn, that I saw. Yeah, she's not one I think denounces it now. I think. Yeah. I think she does. Turn against it. I mean, <laughs> who in the right mind gets having goes like, that was an awesome time. I would do it exactly the same way. Well, All because, the cold <laughs> floors in L.A. that I had to lay on. Well, is it because, you know, also, like, she's, like, it, no one comes, you'd think, like, Jenna Jameson had the most mainstream success in porn ever, like, where she was kind of accepted by mainstream media and society and entertainment, and she was, like, a huge porn star. And then when you see, you know, she's doing, like, a that run of thing for her, I don't know where she's at now, she's on a Big Brother show, she looks ridiculous, <sighs> and she's, like, uh... You know, when she talks, she's like, she's like always, she has like news shows hammered. Like, <laughs> they really, the toll but that they all, you're fucked up. It just, it fucks your world up. The toll it takes on you for those years, I think is like, look, I, I almost look at, it's like the way pro wrestlers come out of wrestling. <laughs> yeah, you're where exactly they're just right, like yeah. damaged. And it's like, hey, brother, I'm in a high school gym just doing what I love. And meanwhile, they're like, yeah, I'll blow you on like a Bang Brothers thing or whatever. Like, do they ever just go back into it for like a, a, a indie show? <laughs> the way wrestlers show. Yeah, hey, I'm getting boned. I'm getting boned down by two dudes at a VFW this weekend. <laughs> Calgary. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, I'm on the same bill as Jake the Snake. It's Jake the Snake and Kira Kenner just taking some D in a fucking middle school gym. <laughs> it's fucking Coco Beware and Anna Mall. <laughs> She's dead, bro. No, did she? She died in a car accident. Just like, did she? They die like wrestlers too. They really they do. Really do. But um, <laughs> yeah, but, Jenna, but, but Jenna Jameson, she's all fucking whacked. They never, even like, well, like because they keep changing. In, 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 keep... in that documentary, Asia Carrera, yes, is a good example. She's walking on the beach with her babies. And yeah, she's like, she has a great life. She's out of porn. Yeah, she. I think she married someone with money. I'm sure she had her own money. It looks like, like a normal mom. Do, but here's the thing again, where it's like where the the cycle of fuck up on that. Is her kids are eventually going to be in school? People who are going to when they find that out, which kids, they will, yes. they will find out. And kids are mean, and they're not only mean, but like, isn't it just kind of? Even if they're not being mean, how about just the fact you know they're jerking off to your mom? Yeah, it's weird, man. Yeah, it's weird. And, and, and were you embarrassed? And by your boys parents? are boys are going to come over. My mom, she yeah. only sucked dick in like three movies, no yeah. full penetration. So no, I was cool. There's a couple Polaroids floating around in my no. <laughs> My mom was only... Was I embarrassed of my mom? No. And you know what's funny? I said my mom was like real thin with big, huge titties. And I'm like, maybe I did have friends that were like kind of farting around to like... Yeah. Just to see her. Maybe hope a titty would pop out or something. I don't know. Man, that's, I would have... I don't even know if she was I like... I totally would have been one of your friends that did that. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I was a friend that would do that too. Yeah. Where you just go over and be like, what's up with... Uh, I remember your... my buddy Ed, man. His mom brought us down pizza one time. She was wearing a... <laughs> she was even doing like the... Just got nailed. Like she was wearing like a man's button down shirt. Oh, just got the dick and just underwear. But it was long. It was long on her. But it was one of those when she came on the stairs. You were like, oh man, I bet if I tried, yeah, I can definitely really see ch- Ed's mom's beef. Just charmed her up or played some kid game. You're like, we're playing crawlers. I gotta stay on the ground. <laughs> You're 15. I was gonna fuck you. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna bed you down. <laughs> but turns out you're just a simple man. I think. uh Dumb in the head. I think Kurt Metzger has a story of a kid who like banged one of their friend's moms. That's crazy. That's like uh, whenever I whenever I read stories like about those teachers and shit, you're like, because when you were a kid, you're like, how crazy would it be if I could fuck her? And then there's a kid that does it. Someone's mom. I never even bat around the idea how crazy it'd be if I could fuck her. I just uh, assumed <laughs> it was a no fly. There's zone. not a fucking chance in the world. Yeah, of me possibly being able to do that. Like, I, 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 I don't think there's a possibility. Like, I, that wasn't even factored into my yeah. thing. It'd be more like, can I see her naked? You know what I mean? There was a lady that worked at the Payless Drugs where, by where I lived that I wanted to bang so bad that I would ride my bike. It was like an extreme distance. I would ride my bike and just go buy something that I didn't need. I was like 13. And I would, I, if this lady knew how much I jerked off to her, <laughs> she would be, she would feel offended. I also don't feel like I jerked off to people. I like, like, man, I would like get, people in my life. I think I think all, I've talked about this. Haven't? Didn't we talk about it on the show the lady from Circle K with the big tits that you <laughs> jerk off to? I had like specific people in my life 
And they were all had and, simple jobs, attainable women. <laughs> and you'd have, and you'd have to like <laughs> it was all <laughs> girls you could actually possibly get possibly yeah. one day. It, I don't know. It's like I don't know. I never like I jerked off to I, I can't like I don't start plotting out a fantasy in my head. Like I, I do. walk in and, and you know does that make me kind of a chick that thing. I do that? Oh, it's a little bit maybe. I, when but, you fan, when you have, when your picture when your eyes are closed around the scene that's happening, is it like just foggy haze all around? No, it? like it's like a real fantasy. I have like weird smells to make it reality, like Happy like, Gilmore's Happy Place. Yeah, no, I wish it was just some grassy meadow with a nice lege, like a lounge chair. Instead, it's like hard reality where like I can smell the four oh nine off the counter <laughs> as I approach her. She's in a broken marriage, doesn't love her husband. I'm looking good. <laughs> a little more mature than my years would tell you. <laughs> every <laughs> uh, every uh, fantasy scenario, my honest sexual fantasy. <laughs> but my uh, every like romantic sexual scenario I've ever done, yeah, has always been as stupid as I thought, or as like, or or much more unpleasant you would think because of the reality of a situation. Yeah, let me, let me explain that better. Like having sex in an open field. No one around for miles on either side. And just like, you know, dry hay sticking you in the asshole yeah. and all this shit. Like your yeah. knees are your Dirt. knees are cut and muddy from yeah. like fucking on like some weird grassy gravelly that you know what I mean? Like it's just never as good as you think. Car fucking has never been awesome. I fucked in cars a decent amount. It's never good because it's you're not always shitty. You don't got the space to go. Awful. I, you know what's crazy? Jerking off. And then I remember, like, one of the first couple times I had sex, I was like, man, I thought this was going to be way cooler than it is. It's just like a lot of body weight and moving around. It's almost like you have to change your breathing. Jerking off where? No, but I'm saying, like, going from general. jerking off to having sex. Oh, when yeah. When I started having sex when I was, like, a teenager, I was like, is everyone is awkward and it's weird and you can't breathe right? Cause you're like, <laughs> and I, was, I remember being upset at, how, uh, at the sweat going off my nose, where I was like, I sweat so goddamn much. <laughs> Dude, try it. Because jerking I, off, I, you're dry. I, I, you're said, like, I said on stage before, I was goes, how many girls I just feel I'm apologizing? <laughs> well, they've already let this fucking fat hump of shit <laughs> lay on top of them, <laughs> put my penis inside of you. Yeah. And then like I said, why my arms were always like in pretty decent shape is yeah. because i uh, holding my body weight up so i don't crush them <laughs> and then also like having the like one arm push up it while i get a quick swipe off my forehead because it's like i just see i see like, their eyes blinking as i'm like <laughs> getting salt salty sweat in their eyes my fucking yeah. my dippity do gel products just like ah ah no oh, jesus sorry for the wet dip you just got in your eye just, getting, just salty singeing their eyelids i I was always i always felt bad for the breaks i had to take because i couldn't hold myself up i was like yeah hey, can we just side fuck for a little bit <laughs> you now now you on top yeah now you that's such a that's such a i'm out of a shape fuck move now you now you not yet. No. No. Not yet. Which brings us full around to the sexual dynamo himself. I always thought, like, in. You, wouldn't it be great to find out he just doesn't fuck that good? That's exactly what I was just going to say. How great would it. Shit, like that happens. You yeah. Find out. He's like, eh, so and so. I used, I used and to have weird people are always like, oh, they're like amazing. Didn't yeah. you say, like, that girl said, like, Huey Lewis? Huge dong, just bangs for hours. <laughs> but it was, it really is one of those things where. I used to have a joke about that, about how disappointed you'd be if you were a woman that went to Prince's house, and then he's like, I don't really feel like fucking. Like, what? Maybe like it doesn't feel like if he does it, he goes, he goes yeah, you like rabbit fucks, and then <laughs> yeah, it's like, he comes really quick. And <laughs> like, <laughs> I want to put on my assless jeans. So he put a, tries to put a finger in my butt, and I was like, I don't like that, Prince. And then he tries again like five minutes later. He said some real mean stuff in my ear. I didn't <laughs> like it. Donkey punch for the first time around. Why the guy was just out of control? Terrible lover. <laughs> but this is Enrique Iglesias singing without the helping track. All I need <laughs> is a rhythm divine. Lost in the music, your heart will be mine. All I need <laughs> is to look in your eyes. This sounds like uh, cut this off. This sounds like um. If you heard your drunk friend singing and he didn't know you were in the house. <laughs> yeah. Right? Oh, damn. I didn't see this feeling forever. Oh. this moment together. Nothing else matters. Just you and the night. But I'm going oh. for desire. Not the rhythm's taking you out. You know. To stop us from having. By the 
doing? He's not dancing. <laughs> it's like you are my soul. All I need. By the way, you also realize like. But the, God damn, is he handsome? He's super handsome. But I also realize the reason I can never be like, uh, as much as I would love, love to have been a rock star. Yeah, I can't wrap my brain around the idea of putting pen to paper. You know what I mean? And writing down things like "Lost in the Darkness," <laughs> I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Mama, here I come. Yeah. Soul, heart, and body as one. We shall rise. <laughs> like, you know what I'm talking about? Just like shitty. Well, that's a, that's a thing that you and I always do when we're hanging out is we do that shitty songwriter. Like, having the right, like, like love, I love shit. The feeling you give is, wait, hold on. No. The feeling you, lost in a canyon, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we're riding in my Model T. For, oh, no. <laughs> we the um, way you looked when you walked in the room. I, uh, shit. No, no. It I, feels more natural than that. Think that. Uh, what about, like, <sighs> winds of love <laughs> blowing you around? I just don't, that doesn't feel right. <laughs> Lost in a big, scary world is how I feel when you're... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> just that. My no. songs would be like... <laughs> Can you please put the cap on your fucking razor in the shower? Because yeah. it's going to fall and I'm going to cut my foot, you cunt. I want to do it. Yeah. I'm sorry. That, 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 that's the, uh, the, I'm going to cut my foot, you cunt, is in parentheses. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to cut my foot, you cunt. Have you heard that new one by Jay? <laughs> please put the feel on your razor in the shower. What about Dan's new song, I'm Sorry I Forgot Your Friends' Names? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the new smash hit <laughs> real love songs from big j okerson is i'm sorry i forgot your greek yogurt yeah pick uh, it up yourself on the way home ladies if you're wearing panties you might want to take them off because they're gonna get sopping wet once you hear dan soder's new song i want to go on vacation by myself <laughs> <laughs> it's a real love story I know you like wearing my shirts as pajamas, but I need my shirts <laughs> by you, Big J Ogres. <laughs> can you at least, parentheses, can you at least wash it after? <laughs> uh, do we have any other shitty singers? Oh, man. Oh, the bloodhound. Lou went out there and found himself so a the other, big, the other big one was uh, Beyonce's became, this went like viral, this shit. Oh, yeah, people are. This is pretty great. Even just for a day. Still sounds good. No, no, no. It get, <laughs> it hits the peak. <laughs> we could all do Beyonce at this uh, octave. Drink <laughs> Oh no. You're making a face like it doesn't say it's gonna go bad. <laughs> I'm watching her like it's it, dera it, it derails. Just like a cat burglar. <laughs> We're watching video of Beyonce. My mind's away. preoccupied. I have to find a way to cartwheel through laser security. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Hoda checking it out. Oh, wow. She sounds like an alarm. <laughs> Time to make the donut. Ah, all right, guys, the oven's preheated. Tell everyone's broken so they think that I was sleeping. Was she, when was it, 2009? Yeah. Was this the delivery room when she was giving birth to the baby? She told me if I was a boy. I was a boy. I can't. I can't. I need a Demerol. Please I need put a Demerol. Ice chips on my lips. Oh, my God. I know that she'd be faithful. Don't you understand? She has the diamonds. She's singing the song while holding the diamonds. They were just here in my face. <laughs> Where'd she keep them? 
she swallowed them? She put them in her butt? <laughs> she swallowed yeah. them? Like a mule? Like a drug mule? Sorry, was my throat's a little scratchy with crown jewels. <laughs> I got scraped. My throat got scraped on the way down all those. Blue emeralds. Oh! The chair is just Oh, uh, there was one fat uh, gay oriental kid in the audience who just. Is there Asian? Don't you be my nana. Oh, sorry. I was doing my nana. But... That's awful. Thanks, Lou. Thanks for finding that, buddy. Holy shit. Yeah, that's, um. Yeepers. Do you think. You still fuck her. Is there. Oh, what? Are you stupid? Of course. Don't tell Hove. Oh! Ho! Um. Do you think we could get the technology to make us sound like pop stars? Auto tune. Yeah, could you get reverb and auto tune? Can Jay and I put out two romance songs that we just talked about? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot your friends' names. And <laughs> can you at least put the cap on your razor? Parentheses. I'm gonna cut my goddamn foot in the shower. You cunt. You cunt. <laughs> yeah, I want to go on vacation alone. We'll see what happens on that one. That's a ballad. I'm gonna have to do that with an acoustic guitar and maybe some auto tune. Can we get a baby grand in here? <laughs> <laughs> I want to tickle the keys. <laughs> tickle the ivories uh, for a few. Ah, uh, feels good to be back where I belong. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. They if called we, me Fat Harry Connick. If we can. Shoot a boop, pop, sit by, ba, do, ba, shit, wow. Skim a little ding, ding, ba, do, ba, ba, shit, ba, What a great name, Fatty Connick. <laughs> Fatty Connick Jr. <laughs> Tubbs Okerson. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, that's me playing with my heels. Uh, All right, Poconos, you've been amazing. I'm going to take a little break. I'll do that. <laughs> just... Thank you. No, you guys. You're the ones that matter. I'm just here. I'm a vessel for you. You guys go back to those rooms. And make sweet, sweet love to your wife. You'll find a hot tub. And we absolutely have to do this. Get an auto-tune. Oh, yeah. We'll write some song lyrics. I'll write some dope ass lyrics. When you're on the boat and you see that sun setting on the ocean, <laughs> get inspired. Write some songs. <laughs> can we try? Can we really try to get inspired? Let's each pick one romantic song, but with lyrics that are about reality. Okay. <laughs> we'll write realistic love songs. Let's do it. All right. But that's our assignment when we come back from the week off. Yeah, because we have a week off, and then we come back for a live it's show. our first vacay week. And then you know what we'll do? We'll go to L.A., and we'll pitch to a bunch of record companies. Because the magic on the tape, that's ours. Those tapes, they might be yours. But the magic on those tapes, that's ours. That's all us. Yeah, we'll do our Dirk Diggler. I, I can't wait. Okay. I think they're going to be fantastic. There's our promise to you. Lou, we're going to make you a famous producer. Uh, Lou already has famous producer head. <laughs> <laughs> who's gonna be in the booth giving us both thumbs up yeah guys are doing so great super supportive but then his dark sexual fetishes come out after <laughs> he after he has four platinum records turns out that so losing to weird shit old canadian women <laughs> <laughs> that's a sexual fetish west indian fat chicks yeah i don't know why he spends hundreds of thousands of dollars to fly them in <laughs> um yeah and then we can go to la and pitch it so it works it just works out perfect Fucks yeah. And Jacob, we'll cut Jacob in. Fucks yeah. As our manager. Oh, yeah. He's got to be our little smarmy manager. We got to start making t-shirts. We need to partner up with someone to make t-shirts for our fans so we can do a Pimpin' Is As Pimpin' Does and a Crackle Crackle. Yeah, and people want those. The, yeah. the demand is out We're just there. doing this because of the demand. I'm not a fucking megalomaniac that thinks that we <laughs> We need merch, bro. And we got to make people decide. There's Dan shirts. <laughs> Jay Team shirts. Dan or Team Jay. <laughs> that would be the dumbest thing on earth. But what we will do is shirts to unite everyone. Um, Yeah, there's uh, there is some rumblings about uh, having some T-shirts to give... Out at Oddball, uh, right? Oddball, yeah. When Oddball resumes. When you're in October second, Los Angeles. Angeles. Los Angeles. Well, no, I'll be. Uh, that's the first ones will be West Palm, Tampa, Atlanta, wow. and then and then California. Is it me or just the sexiest women in a in a weird in a bad way come out of Tampa? In a bad way? Yeah, like the ones that like are hot. Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. Like sexy. But just like, like they only say, I just sucked off the guy around the tilt-a-whirl. You want to fight me? <laughs> no. What kind of suck you, dude? 
<laughs> I had a spoon of peanut butter for breakfast. Because I'm getting shredded. I just feel like there's, I've met like, I'm saying like sexy women, but then they're always like a little, like they're trouble. Yeah, like Britney Spearsy. Yes, exactly. Like that kind of. But she was hot, but she could not run away from that just is there like garbage a, um, upbringing. Is there like a uh, Bermuda Triangle of like hot crazy that happens in that area, like an old Cajun curse where they're like, down here in the bayou, all the women, sexy women, swamp women turn crazy. I wish, <laughs> I wish there was any kind of like, but they're really, it's nothing regional. The hot chicks thing, I don't know. I used to there say there has to be because I used to say that was sort of a myth, but then it, it, it's kind of where you go, the time you go. When I was in San Diego, it, which but that's insane. San Diego, the American comedy, uh, American comedy company. I think yeah, was. I mean, standing outside, I was on the phone with Christine, like telling her, I was like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, like every girl that walks by. It's I mean, usually you don't see groups. Yeah. Of all, like, mega hot chicks. Usually it's like there's a couple hot girls in the group, or they're all cute or whatever. I'm talking about, I mean, how do you girls all like each other? Like, <laughs> yeah. like fucking fighting them. You just don't want to wear underpants because you just want to get right to it and just jerk off. And you're like, I just saw a group of. It was baffling how hot all the chicks were. But other than that, like, you know, you see girls middle of the country that are gorgeous. It's just, there's hot chicks everywhere. Yeah, but Look, there's good certain... looking people tend to flock towards each other and they tend to make good looking kids. Do they though? Sometimes. Sometimes I don't know. they have goofy ass kids. I'm not. I don't. She's definitely. I mean, she's obviously not ugly, and but not my cup of tea. I say is that a Dakota Johnson? Oh yeah. And mom, mom was gorgeous at a time, and Dad Don Johnson's great looking dude. Great looking dude. And but yeah, she's like she's cute. She, I mean, you I'm could saying, show me. She's definitely could... an attractive chick. I'm just saying, like, if it makes sense, like she's not crazy hot. Yeah, like if they're, I, she's, if I thought she was, she's butt naked in that movie. Doesn't, uh, I've never even taken two seconds to look it up. Doesn't, didn't, uh, Melanie Iglesias go on to have, Melanie Griffin? Oh, Dakota Johnson. Melanie Griffin. What did I say? Melanie Iglesias. <laughs> I don't know why. Does she, have, does she marry you? <laughs> <Yeah>. Julio Iglesias? <laughs> I, got, I got Julio on the brain. Uh, all that work. All I need. <laughs> I'm sleeping. <laughs> when you come home drunk and you sing, oh, it fucking wakes me up, dude. Daniel, Daniel, you don't understand. I have to practice. Shut up, dude. I'm fucking sleeping. No, I have to practice. Tomorrow's a Shut big up. show. If I don't your, practice, you fucking dumb mole. You know I can help it, my mole, man. That's dude, not cool to say. I don't give a fuck who your dad is. Your career's gonna stink. No, Melanie Griffin and Antonio Banderas, they have kids, Griffith. Right? Gri what I <laughs> it's a tough one, though. That's one. Whatever my speech impediment is, yeah. that's a toughie. Melanie Griffin. Melanie Griffith. <laughs> Melanie Griffith. It's a soft landing. It's like touching down one of those <laughs> planes that land on water. <laughs> Melanie, Gr Melanie Griffith. <laughs> I'm, I'm commando landing. <laughs> Give me a take over the island. Yeah. Melanie Griffith. Her and... Uh, not yet. Yeah, I'm not, like, I don't know. Yeah, I think she's cute. She is cute. She's really cute. If she was a a, she, a fucking Dave and Buster's waitress, you'd, yes. have, you'd be like, fucking killed it last she night. She's gonna get it! <laughs> if she was a Dave and Buster's waitress, I'd throw all of them. But I mean, you remember a young Salma Hayek? That's oh. like fucking holy shit hot. Yeah. Young Salma Hayek. Desperate. I mean... <sighs> Dude, Desperate, she was retarded. It was crazy. Young Salma Hayek. You Salma Hayek. You put in you. you put in young. And you put in Selma. <laughs> like Selma. Ah! Oh, I mean, even older. Yeah, well, I mean, those titties are just. Quote the Chappelle they're show. Just, they're ripening on the vine. Those it's almost things. got some big ass. Titties. Titties. Those things. I mean. Every, yes. Dude. Remember Fools Rush In with Matthew Perry? <laughs> 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 you said remember like it's a classic film. I loved it. I'm a big Matthew Perry hey, you guy. You remember the first vacation movie? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm a big Matthew like Perry it's guy. Iconic. Yeah. I just remember watching it and being wanting to be him and being like, yeah, I'd knock her up. Does you recall Dunstan checks in? <laughs> 
<laughs> so you remember Class Act with Kid and Play, right? Of course. I had a backpack. I bought a backpack just because of that movie. Who, were, you a kid a or a, were you a kid or a play man? I'm not an asshole. I'm clearly a play guy. <sighs> he was the cooler looking of the Fucking two. Fucking A, he was. Oh, man, I'll tell you what. I'll be honest with you, right now, mm -hmm. I could probably do the entire choreographed dance they do in House Party. I would love to do the feet kick with you. Oh, what, dude? Should we start doing that in public together? Let's One kick, it. two kick over you, and then the dance. Should we take a break and then go f learn the kid and play dance? And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. That's we just own the flow. That's kid and play, and this is the bonfire. What? Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. Yeah, we were doing punk, but then we started talking about Kid and Play and uh, the Bloodhound Lou. What nice young men. Great guys. Model citizens. Just like good, their raps always. Just like, hey, just want to have some fun. We just, don't want no yeah. trouble. Yeah. I loved. Hey, want to buy M&M's to get, buy basketball jerseys from a team? <laughs> I'm a good kid. I'm starting a lawnmower <laughs> business. <laughs> How about you let me mow your lawn? Oh, hey, lady, I just like to shovel your lawn. Let me shovel your walkway. I believe in getting away. <laughs> getting out of the way of people in a hurry. This is I see a pretty girl, and then I walk up. I ask her her name. I say, what's up? See if we have common interests involved. <laughs> Um, and then I walk her home at the end of the date. Were you a, were you a kid guy or a play? Play, I thought play was cool looking. Yeah. I liked the way he danced. Can we get that dance from House Party up there, dude? House Party, one of the greatest uh, franchises, I would say. No. Movies. <laughs> 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 Wanted to see how far I could get on that. Oh, yeah, go back. When the girls start doing yeah. Oh, they start nailing it. Oh. Damn, Gina. I was, I had such you got to play the music from this. Oh, guys! Those worlds collide. You can't play two kid and play songs at once. <laughs> the whole system will fry. <laughs> they appear <laughs> just in hologram form. <laughs> Tisha Campbell, by the way, so hot, hell of a dancer. Man, black chicks just look smoother when they move. Look at that, <laughs> Tisha Campbell. But here's it. That's what it is. They made play the cool one. Yep, definitely a play guy. Yeah, I'm a play guy. Play all day. Man, we're watching the dance scene back in the, the days. 90 classic house party. You can get pussy back then for being a good dancer at yeah. a party. Can you get pussy now for being a good dancer? At a party? Ah, I think no. so. I think you still can. Look at that. When's the last party you went to with, like, oh, dancing the, like this? I was in love with her on Martin. Yeah, I was in love with her. I wanted. Oh my god! Never a big Tisha Campbell guy. I was oh huge fan. Ooh, I could do that move. I guarantee it. You can do that move. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, though. Then why are we doing this? Get on America's <laughs> Next Best Dance Crew. <laughs> What's funny is when we came back from the break, you and I were doing an amazing job dancing, but sitting down. I think that's what we are. We're sit down dancers. Not me, dude. Oh really? I got moves, bro. You do. I judged the Legion of Skanks dance off, and you were amazing. He danced a little bit. Lewis can't. No, I, I, I uh, but you do. No, Lewis can't dance at all. You got moves. I got some moves. No, I could probably like, not look shitty at a wedding. But I mean, like, if I throw myself party dancing, they're yeah. doing your move, dude. You're missing it. <gasps> oh, the foot kick. But no shit, man. I, I but I remember go. We had when I was in in like I love those high school. Suits. When I was in high school and like junior high school, yeah. Like you, you were a dancer. No, not at all. Oh, okay. no, not even sort of. No, man. If I would have found out that you were like, I probably found out that I can dance better. By the way, this is this all sounds retarded to even be. I don't think it does. No, because I can't dance. Oh. I'm not a dancer, but I mean, I can like, I have rhythm. I have decent rhythm. Yeah, and which is pretty much what it takes to, to dance on an okay level. But just, again, just like wouldn't look like an asshole at a party or whatever. Okay, a club, a club I guess. But uh, good dancing, kid and play, kind of like good dancing like that. Yeah. If you could do that in my junior high school, like it, it was a big deal. That dude was awesome. And, my and, buddy, and they would have house parties, and people would dance at house parties. But I don't think that's a thing anymore. Man, my buddy Adam Hill. Dancing, everyone's fucking at 13 years old now. My buddy Adam was such a good dancer. And he was so confident in it. But it's the same concept with what we were talking about with like why we can't seriously why I couldn't be a rock star because I can't write a song about like 
my infinite sadness <laughs> over the girl I lost, or or even that. Beyond that, I couldn't write like metal because I don't. I can't write songs about like seriously about you know some analogy to like you know life is Nordic void. gods. Yeah. yeah, as the god of thunder <laughs> strikes down in the village, you're like I, I can fucking. Roll. Will I roam on the plains, riding on the flames of <laughs> destruction? My mighty steed comes across. As I slither around <laughs> you, what the fuck are you talking about? All I need is a little bit of a <laughs> Have some sweet Lou put some finish on that. I uh Your voice is like a <laughs> My friend Aaron Powers, dude, could nail a split, a dance split. Where you <gasps> make, go down move? The the dance split is the one where your one knee's bent sort of. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. you but your dick hits the ground. And then you bounce right back up. Right back up. Fuck, that's the cool I thing. used to just ask him to do it like I was a fucking groupie chick. <laughs> Constantly I'd be like <laughs> Aaron, do the split. And he's like, Jay, no. I'm like, and he would just do a split for me in class. In class? Like before class started, walking into class. That's the kind of guy that can fuck a teacher. Maybe. Where he's like, hey, ow, I love science. Get on up. Watch me. You know what bummed me out? Uh, Watch me. When Aaron came to our school, he was like fat. Yeah. And that made me so happy that another fat kid came. And I used to just kind of like, and he was new and fat. So yeah. I was able to kind of like. You got that old fat confidence. I definitely didn't pick on him. But I mean, I certainly was like, I know fat, that fat kid, right? Yeah. Like I was a little bit of that. But did you throw, did you stick the new? Were you like, ah, oh, that new fat kid? <laughs> no, and I don't even know if it was as mean as like that fat. I was just kind of in the mix of like, uh, you know, I would somehow find a way to acknowledge his being a big guy too. Yeah. And then, God damn it. Fucker started dancing, <laughs> lost weight, started getting puss probably pretty young, if I had to guess. Yeah, because he had rhythm, and he had the, and he had the uh, fat guy personality into hot guy body. Yeah, he was, uh, I think I think he was half black, half white. Oh, so he toned up quick. He had the good hair. I'm super bad. Yeah, oh. killed it. A good dancer. That's the 90s, though. That was it. I mean, I guess like in the 70s, too, it was like that. I don't know if so the 80s, is, I don't think the 80s gave a shit about dancing. It was all coke at the party then. And what the is 90s. it now? It's all how good's your Snapchat game? Yeah, basically, like 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 teenager house parties, I, I guarantee are all rooted around either massive amounts of fucking and sucking and drugs. Yeah, okay. Or other direction, like it's Magic the Gathering or a bunch of people dressing up like wizards and role playing in a backyard. Well, but I think that's what it's always been. I yeah, think, I think that that two levels of that kind of thing is that's how it's always been. I'm not saying this doesn't end in fucking house party. This it fictitious party that is house party, real house party. There's fucking going on during this dancing. Maybe, but there's also dancing. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I feel like now it's like just fuck parties. Just fuck. I love that. Now all I see is children having <laughs> fuck parties. What? They're out there. Having fuck parties. Filating each other. Yeah. What are you, Lithgow from Dirty Dan from <laughs> Footloose? You're like, they, if they dance, they fuck. Everyone knows this happens. <laughs> I have to cut it out of my town. Actually, his theory was you dance, you drive off a bridge and die. So he's just Which, trying to save all the children. Why don't you tell him what happened to Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> he is. By the way, <laughs> he's got to dance himself right into a ravine. Too soon. <laughs> Too soon, Aaron. No, I, uh, I actually oddly speak to Aaron once in a while on uh, Facebook. I believe he's doing quite well for himself. He's like, hey, I'm just tired from getting all this puss. I, yeah, I reached out to him one time and I was like, can you do the split? Aaron, <laughs> can you do the split? Can I see the split? Did brother ever get pussy? Brother, uh, yeah, brother got pussy. But was little, like Jay, little Jay's. Older brother, brother. <laughs> Old, yeah. So little J, your friend, little J, because you were big J. Yep. He was little J. 
Little J. I mean, Little J was six foot and mm. probably like you know <laughs> two hundred pounds. <laughs> Medium J. <laughs> no, I'm just saying he was, yeah. he was Little J. But Little J's brother, who you guys called brother, brother, learned how to play guitar in jail, prison. He may have played before. Dude, one of my favorite things ever, and it'll. I won't even have a pipe dream that this all come across this audio or video, but we had a video of him before he went to jail. Okay. He was playing, he was performing, he's in a band at some, you know, Easton PA fucking oh. whatever festival, you know, pumpkin pie fest. Yes. And he was on the stage. He's wearing no shirt. Okay. Purple sweatpants, but yeah. like, you know, tight, bo- tight sweatpants and both. Rolled up to the knee, you know, the, yeah. the calves are up. They're Got out. It. High socks or low socks? High socks mushed down. Yes, the scrumped up look. Yeah. Uh, with it's some, real world. with some, you know, Nike high tops. I, 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 in my mind, I had white Reeboks. No. Okay. No, these were Nike high tops. Maybe he was wearing the Frank Thomas Reeboks. They were playing Welcome to the Jungle. Yes. At this thing, at a festival that seems like no one cares about them playing it, but. What I loved about this guy, the and, and we talked was. about him recent. We talked about him kind of recently on the show. Brother is a character. He he was in jail for robbing a Wawa. <laughs> he got out of jail, moved in with his parents and little Jay. Where that's where you came into his life. That's where I knew him. Uh, and then you know he was in our lives for I, maybe less than a year, and he was gone. But I mean the wealth of stories this <sighs> guy brought, and we talked about before. He would sometimes answer the door with a samurai sword. He was like talking. in a threatening position. Yes, like like, like he's like you know friend or foe. <laughs> no way. That's how he answered yeah. the door. Yeah, and he, he had all these weird sayings. He's, he was a he was a lunatic of a guy. I, he may be. I think he's out of jail now. He may be married with kids and turned his life around. Hey, how you doing? I it's, doubt it. My name's not. Uh, <laughs> it's Parnell. It's Purnell. My name's Purnell. It's not brother. Uh, brother, brother. Robbing a Wawa twice. Why would same Wawa? No. Okay, thank God. I think different even. Uh, I think it's <sighs> different states. But, uh, yeah, he's a, a, a crazy, crazy dude. And and you were asking if he got, like, laid. Like, yeah, he got laid a, a decent amount. Was he good looking? This feels, this sounds like a good looking guy. No. Uh, like, oh, yeah, 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 he wasn't bad looking, I guess. But, but like, he, good he was, just like, he was just, like, wrong. Even though it was, like, we're going into the 90s, you know, late, mid to late 90s. Okay. This, when he came out. He was dressed like it was eighty seven at the Whiskey A Go Go. <laughs> That's great. That's great. So but so he was a good looking guy, I guess. But he wasn't wearing it's it's you know, the Clinton administration. Sure. He was he was dressed wrong for okay. the situation. But this video of him in these purple sweatpants, his intro to the song, he does a whole thing. He's like, you know, we were coming out here to uh Easton PA today. That's great. Driving out here and uh Jimmy Jimmy back there broke one of his guitar strings, man. He broke one of his guitar strings. We're here in Easton, PA on a Sunday. I'm like, there's nowhere to get a guitar string. He goes to me, Steve, Steve, what am I going to do, man? I don't have a guitar string. And I just looked Jimmy in the face, and I said, Jimmy, do you know where you are? You're in the jungle, baby. There's nothing better we than... We are brother in the bro tones! <laughs> Get ready for sibling love! There's nothing better than that corny intro into a song that's not even yours. Holy shit. But man. really shoehorning it in. <laughs> and I said... Do you know where you are? And he's like, Eastern PA? That, that's the, You're at the Apricot Festival. <laughs> There's only four of us. The most... Uh, Stop yelling and put a shirt on. The funniest... Recreation of that situation was uh, what is that? The Step Brothers, Horatio Sands, the best. Billy Joel. But the way he yeah. says it, he goes, "I know sometimes life can be hard, everyone. I know times get tough. Sometimes it can be hard to keeping, keeping the, the faith." faith. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Play uptown, girl. <laughs> hey man, I told you we're exclusively eighties Billy. Hey, what I say, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that kind of sometimes thing. Sometimes it. it can be hard to. Keeping the faith. I told this story recently at a barbecue, but my uncle's name is Steve Miller. And my cousin, my cousin, my cousin got married and he, um, he told the wedding DJ, he's like, Hey, I heard him. I was smoking a cigarette outside and I heard him say this. He goes, Hey, don't play any Steve Miller band. All right. Just don't do it. And the guy's like, yeah, man. 
You got it, buddy. All right. So the bridal party it's starts. It's your big day. I'm here for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The bridal party starts coming in. And he's like, and there's the bride. And here comes the father of the bride, Steve Miller. And it looks like he brought his band. And he starts playing. Dude, it's exactly what he started playing. My mom was laughing her ass off. And I looked over. My uncle was like, just like breathing in through his nose. You just saw. And he was like, okay, okay. He's a big dude. He's just staring at this wedding DJ. Why like, was he fucking with him? I think the guy, was so, the guy was so corny that he just didn't even ignore. Like, I don't think it was a malicious act as much as the guy was just a cornball. You know, he didn't even listen to the request. He was like, I got you, man. Yeah, exactly. It was like you, handsome- you, you think his thoughts sound like that too? He goes, he goes, son of a bitch going to come over here and tell me what I can and can't play. I'm a goddamn DJ, you cack sucker. Him and his giant mongoloid family. They can all get in a bus and fall off a cliff, the fucking assholes. I'm going to play Steve Miller. And you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to forget that Allison's moved on from our relationship. Yeah, I miss my son. I wish I I'm going to play whatever songs I want to play while you and your fucking cankle group of family over there. Oh, look, it's a group. Of, yeah, why don't you guys suckle on that booze a little more? You guys definitely don't have a genetic problem with alcohol. <laughs> oh, this guy's cutting deep. That's just how he thinks in his own head. <laughs> I gotta turn left here. Turn right. That's <laughs> when he's driving somewhere. If I make $200 in tips tonight, I'm gonna get me an escort. Yeah, I gotta shit and piss on her. <laughs> Alright, coming up next. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight may be the night I kill that boy in my attic. Ah, he's been a hostage for over two months. <laughs> Living on fast food in my dick. <laughs> um, yeah, that guy was, it was just great watching my uncle just stare down a dude for an enti- for this entire song. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, you hear that part? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just going to the open bar going, it's cash now. It's cash now. <laughs> when did it kick over? When did it ki- after there's Uncle Steve? Why can't we have more free booze? <laughs> Dude, I used to get fucking hammered at weddings. That was where family I- weddings. Oh my god, because it was acceptable. Dude, the last time I felt like a... Remember when you were a kid? Would your and, mom get ripped up, too? Ah, oh, dude, this is the best. You get toasted with your mom? Ah, uh, so... Do you remember when you were a little kid and you would... I've never done anything with my mom, ever. Oh, uh, we used to drink together all the time. Do you remember when you were a little kid and you wanted to, like, sleep over at a friend's house and you're, like, at a party? <laughs> like, you'd sleep over at, like, your cousin's house or something? My cousin Luke that I grew up with, when I remember being excited to be like, hey, can I sleep over there my, at a party? And my mom would be like, yeah, you know, like, yeah, you can sleep over there tonight. And I'm like, oh, shit, everything just changed. I'm sleeping over at your house tonight. The closest I've ever gotten to that feeling as an adult was my cousin Andy and I were drinking, and I was supposed to drive home, and my mom's already fucking slammed like a bottle of wine. <laughs> and I go up to her, and I'm like, hey, are you cool to chill out to the end of the wedding so I can drink with Andy? And we're like grown men. Together, like me asking my mom, like, can I please drink with Andy? And my mom's like, yes, go ahead, drink with him. Can I go drink? And then we just went to the open bar and got fucking hammered. My, I think my, my mom had purple teeth, but I still dude, let her drink. Dude, high five. Ah, oh, dude. I, I, you've never gotten drunk with your mom? No. Really? Never. I have, that used to be... My mom would use me as an excuse to get hammered, and I would use I her know, as an I excuse. I don't even know if I ever saw my mother or father or stepfather drunk ever. I don't like that you call them mother and father. That definitely sent with this music. I don't know if I've ever seen, I don't know if my es mother... Padre. My mother's ever had too much libations. <laughs> she prefers... My mom let us get drunk off Bart- Bart- Barton's vodka and cranberry juice when I was like 16. Really? Me and my friends. You had that mom? Yeah. We just got hammered. Do you know what Barton's Vodka is? It is fucking silverware cleaning alcohol. It's like, (laughs) it is, Yeah, I don't even know if it's legal anymore. No, it is, but it's like shit vodka. It's It's like the handle you can buy for $5.99. My mom was like, we already had a couple, and I was honest with her. I was like, we've been drinking, and my mom's like, everyone give me your car keys. You guys can drink here, but no one fucking drives. And like five of us just got blitzed. (laughs) Wait, would those kids' parents have been furious if they found that out? I don't know. I don't think so. Your mom Maybe. was that mom, dude. They but were... she wasn't like that mom where she was like buying us booze. That happened like once or twice, and then at weddings, and when I would hang out with my mom, I'd get hammered with her. My friends, uh, my buddy Glenn, mm-hmm. his girlfriend, he's like, he has like kids with her, but her, we used to go to her family's house yeah. when we were teenagers, and like that was the house. Yeah, it's like you could smoke and do whatever, and like, really? Yeah. I always find it weird. I also didn't smoke weed at that point in my life. So so it was extra weird too because 
anyone who did kind of hung out there. Yeah. I was just they're like, no, I'm, I'm cool. I'm just a nerd. I wish I was a better dancer. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching these dancing videos at my house. When I was 16, I got the green light to smoke weed at my house. Really? When I was 16. And then it was like my That's mom. So weird. I my think mom it only makes bad people. I think sometimes, but it doesn't. Fuck yeah. you, dude. No, I'm, I'm just. I just. We're <laughs> fine, bro. <laughs> it, just, it just blows up. Prove it completely right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Soda just You're fucking a bad took a person, ch- motherfucker. Took a cheap shot. No, I think what it did was it gave us because this is really my mom's <laughs> thinking was I'd rather you get high here and not get arrested. Yeah, I know the theory. Yeah, I know the, theory. <laughs> the same theory goes in every one <laughs> uh, you tell me goes well here's my mom's take on it it's the exact uh, same take that everyone's has parents to go <laughs> I don't care if your kids get fucked up here <laughs> bang in the bathrooms do whatever you want just no cops I'm the minstrel of evil <laughs> come bring me your dis- your wayward children write, write an awesome rock song about me one day about <laughs> how I facilitated all this heathenism <laughs> yeah I never uh Hey, we're thinking about buying an alligator next week. You kids want to come over and pet the gator? Hey, cool news. I'm going to let y'all applesauce wrestle in the basement, but only young chicks. Hot snatch. Hey, boys, grab on your dicks. I know a friend who knows a guy. I got Quiet Riot coming to play our backyard party next weekend. I sucked one of them off in 87. Dude, there was a place uh, by my house that was like this pool hall that got shut down for applesauce wrestling because of these <laughs> girls I went to high school with were doing it. I just remembered that after saying that. They got like straight up shut down. Like the business got shut down. How old were the girls applesauce wrestling? <laughs> like 15. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, that's some real aurora. Isn't it amazing at fifteen, sixteen? how what a huge deal this <laughs> You would have fucking, you would have fought your own mother physically yeah. to get to that yeah. and then now as an adult you're like I hope everyone was arrested and in trouble forever I hope those girls are okay uh, I mean holy shit 50 years. I think that's I was, so much probably more prevalent now yeah I was a uh, 15 year old girls doing like wet t-shirt co- I mean it's that was fucking a real, crazy that was a real Aurora Colorado thing applesauce wrestling <laughs> yeah I used to love when I uh, when I lived in South Jersey. Yeah, I used to go. Uh, I remember going by myself when I first moved there too, because I didn't know anybody. But there was like an all ages pool hall. Yes, that's the that's the kind of place that got shut yeah. down for the applesauce. Yeah, wrestling. As, you said, as, as I'm saying, that kind of place was just like smoke cigarettes inside. That and the like, place that had like teenage dances. Yeah, Hollywood Legends. We talked about that. Yeah, when I asked that I mean, girl to dance. Yeah, so we had Circus Town. Uh, had had teen dances when the, it was the, the adults that hung out there. Now, as an adult, you're like, you piece of garbage. Oh, going to fucking pick up a teenage girl because you have strobe lights under your car. Because yeah. <laughs> you got a waterbed in your van. I would tell you, my friend Glenn got strobe lights under his car. And no. he, had, he had a car that was already lowered with these giant tires. He did that whole thing. Dude, I loved when the... Adam, guess what? That great dancer, Adam? Same thing. Yeah. And then he got strobe lights under his car the first night he got him, dude. And by the way, we're both fat. Yeah, and I get in this car that's already lowered, and the wheels are. And I mean, we drive. I mean, we were driving for five minutes before we hit some bump, and you just see the, the strobe light just goes. <laughs> it's cracks. We just busted a strobe light. Did it only really blink? Like, did it blink unnaturally at like a wrong pace? Um, no, it just cracked the cover oh, completely. That's great, dude. <laughs> the best was when they'd have to take. Oops. When roads like would dip down, and they'd have to take them sideways because the car was so low to the ground. <laughs> oh yeah, and they come back up, and you're like. Is is that is it worth it to oh. drive like this? I always drove because I hate the responsibility of other people's cars. You, ever you drove, somebody's, you drove you ever, the Honda Accord. You ever open, open somebody's car door and then you realize it's a high sidewalk? So you do that, <laughs> and you're just like, "Sorry, yeah. <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it." I did it recently. I think I did it like a month ago. Then you feel even more like a piece of shit because when you get out of the car when the door's open, the door's nowhere near touching the thing. It's, Dude, what about it's your you, own weighing it? What down. about when you can't shut it because it's locked on the concrete and you have to have them drive forward <laughs> <laughs> so you can shut it? Hey, the... Can we turn this into a lot more damage yeah. so I can close oh, the dumb door? Man, there's only one way out of this. If you ever plan on shutting this car door, <laughs> it'd be funny if you just raid zone, kick yeah. the door shut. <laughs> Fuck it, man. Put the damage this, is done. Hey, put this metal top on your on your uh, car so I can kick this door shut. <laughs> Looks like I'm buying you a door, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> About to Tommy boy this shit. <laughs> Lou, do we have to take a break? Yes. Okay. We're going to take a break. We'll bonfire. Be, we'll be back. We'll be right back. Comedy Central Radio Series. We'll be right back. All right. Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. 
You know what you put in the ground doesn't always come back that way. Sometimes the ground is sour. <laughs> you gotta bury your own. <laughs> Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius X seven ninety five. I'm Dan Soto. That's Big Jay Okerson. <clears throat> We've just been hanging out today. We are not live, but we are new. You get live. You get new shows this week, but you don't get live shows because we're off. I'm actually in San Francisco. If you want to come see me at the Punchline all this weekend, Wednesday through Saturday. San Francisco Punchline, Jay. I'll be here. <laughs> yeah, it looks oh, like yeah, because you got the cruise. Yeah. It's a cruise. Then the cruise comes up, and I go on. The cru- and then back on Oddball. No shit. And like we said earlier in the I'm show. I'm a busy boy. We got to work on getting shirts, man. We were talking about getting some Kansas City Wisps jerseys. I mean... Old, what was it? Tiny Okerson? <laughs> Jay Tiny Okerson. Jay Tiny Okerson. And why, look who it is. It's old Dan Fizz Soda. <laughs> the Fizz. The He's fizz. got his crazy old two C <laughs> knuckle ball. Got to grow mustaches. Ah, and he drinks Draw a couple, color <laughs> Draw a couple, grow a couple of Honus Wagners. I would love to do that. But then we just look like hipsters that live in Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. What do you guys own? Some douchey bar? <laughs> uh, cool. Do you guys only serve a specific type of grain alcohol? Local IPA. Yeah, they're. Um, my cousin lives in one of my, and one of my best friends. I was in Williamsburg, and it really just is like a parody of itself. Yeah, like at this point, it's like, it's all beautiful people trying to dress like that, right? Yeah, it's like ugly clothes. Yeah. Well, I-, I was actually saying this. To Christine this week, so we sit on our stoop a yeah. bunch. And in the East Village. There's a lot of people walking by in these. You guys got yeah. a great stoop, too, to hang out on. Yeah, and so we're sitting there just watching people, and it's amazing how many, like, really hot chicks are really drawn to that goofy thing. Like, that really, like, guys wearing, like, super short shorts. Well, and, and, like, you know, a yellow short sleeve button-down shirt that, you know, looks like your grandfather would have worn when he... Yeah. Sold storm doors in a in a stained tank top to show like I don't even see the like the disheveled look of it. I mean, just like just dweeby. Like you're dressing like a fucking eighty five year old man. They really do like that kind of shit. They dress like freshmen uh, in college from the fifties. Yeah, they're like you want a tight, you want some tight pants. <laughs> yeah, you look like a good boy. They look like the people that the army didn't want, that the army couldn't use in the <laughs> in the in the war. No, of course, you got a calcium deficiency. I got to keep you in Brooklyn. You got to work at the paper store. You're not you going to go over there and fight the Krauts. You wait over in that room where I put all the sissy ninnies. Yeah. <laughs> You've got sissy's disease. You can't go over there. You can't even hold a gun. I bet you have. Bet you don't even have a child yet. <laughs> Meanwhile, me and you were sent on that boat to die. <laughs> <laughs> where are we going? Yeah, me and you were fucking first wave. <laughs> Just run up the beach. I'm like, I get a pack of smokes when I get up at the top, right? Infantry. Okerson. Yeah. I come back and can't sleep without screaming. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile that guy grows to be a peaceful 90. <laughs> um, tucking his big dong in one leg. Yeah, I'm taking I'm taking swipes at fucking all my <laughs> nurses over the age of 65. You're trying to scratch off your own skin because yeah. you feel like you deserve it. Uh, I should have died with that mustard gas. I should have. I should have died. Meanwhile... All the Brooklyn hipsters, that's what they look like. <laughs> Men they're gonna, that are going to age peacefully. Yeah, they're going to live a long time. Because they just ate carrots for five years. Ugh. Kale shakes. What's happening to our country, Jay? Uh, we're losing it. What's happening to, to America? To the sissy ninnies. Hi, uh, my name's Sam Elliott. <laughs> and I'm here to talk about beating up hipsters. Have you ever thought about punching a man that weighs 90 pounds? Do it. Not for me, but for America. <laughs> for the red, white, and blue. For the grain that our country grows and the mountains that go as high as God himself. Start beating up hipsters. Take them out. Show them to wear regular clothes. <laughs> Walmart brand. Hashtag beat up hipsters. <laughs> Hashtag knock off a mustache. <laughs> what a violent campaign. <laughs> Claim your mustache. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam Elliott, a man that deserves to have a mustache. You know who doesn't? 
these 90 pound wafers that are living in bushwork. It'd be a funny crime spree that starts, people just cutting off a hipster mustache. But if it's old dads beating up young kids <laughs> who are making it look cool. Uh, I think we just wrote the script for Wild Hogs, too. <laughs> We're taking a trip. Where? To Williamsburg. For what? To get back our mustaches. We're taking back our facial hair. It's me, Tom Selleck. <laughs> it's just like a bunch so of stupid. older dads, sexier guys with mustaches, just beating up young kids. And then for some reason, they'll just throw in Michael Chiklis. Yeah, I've got to put in Chiklis. you got to throw in Chiklis. He's the fucking shield, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love you, the shield. I love you, you were great, the shield. <laughs> Remember the shield was in that movie? <laughs> Remember when the shield played the thing? Who? Who? One of the only conversations I've ever had with Chris Rock when he's talked to me was he just talked about the shield and I called I called Michael Chickles the shield like that. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, I go, oh man, the wire's way better than the shield. I mean, I liked the guy the shield and he goes, what? And I was like, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm just a dumb person. That's why I say I feel like girls who just groupie to groupie like talk about bands like, I just fucked Bon Jovi. It's like, well, which one? It's like, bon Jovi, I don't know. The Bon Jovi. The Bon? <laughs> bon Jovi, the drummer. Fuck Jovi? <laughs> Fuck Bon or Jovi. Bon or Jovi? When I was in sixth grade and Biggie came out, I remember being in gym class and this black girl, Michaela, was like, you like you like Notorious B.I.G.? And I had never heard him. And I was like, yes. She's <laughs> like, is he a group or a person? And I go, ah person and she goes is he and i go no he's a group because he was a person and i was like By the damn way, you, you tricked me what's so annoying about that is that you were so under pressure so under pressure you would have realized that she she gave you the answer in the question yeah she said, is he a group yeah or a but i'm too dumb <laughs> you should have come back the next day when you looked him up and came back and been like oh. no i meant i meant he's a group i was making a fat joke or get behind her and go oh oh i used to throw <laughs> oh yo what's up michaela you know I've been listening to? Yeah. Why don't me and you have some Welch's grape juice? <laughs> yeah. <Yikes. laughs> That's my little Kim impression. I. <laughs> you want to stuff your balls in my mouth? <laughs> Dude, I laughed so hard the first time I heard. I used to be scared of the dick. Now I throw lips to the shit. Handle it like a real bitch. I heard that probably in whenever. When, that, when did that album come out? 96? I love little Kim. I'm not saying I don't. I'm just saying maybe I, it's a little known fact. Christine called me on that, and she's right. I do. I love Little Kim. She's Queen B. Love her. Really, have no gripe with. There would be no Nicki Minaj without Little Kim. That yeah, absolutely, but yes, that's absolutely true. But I just like her. You like her old vibe. Yeah, you know, I, I don't. Nicki Minaj does nothing for me. That uh, weird body is bizarre. Yeah, yeah. Her anime body. It's just so weird. Let's she just look looked it. like she was thought up by a sad Japanese fucking cello student. Let's see her body's filled with Reebok pump. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're afraid if you pump her up too much, she's going to explode. She's going to explode like Shaq sneakers. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Don't pump up Nicki Minaj yeah, too like, much. If she falls, if she she falls down, she may just explode and start <laughs> flying all over the room. <laughs> Someone grab Nikki. <laughs> Just floating. Oh, around. baby girl's booty too big. She pops. <laughs> Her left butt cheek pops on on tape. <laughs> Flapping. Uh, well, I like to end the show always with giving people a little something to jack to, and that was it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh. Uh. Give me some queen bitch. You got queen bitch? That was a jam. I, I, Ooh. By listening to her, I was afraid to fuck her because I know I couldn't give her the dick. The I way never she wanted. thought I could. I just want to watch other black guys fuck her while I jerk off and watch. What? Yeah. Little, now we're talking about my fantasy. Little Kim Big J cuckold. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse. Mmm. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Uh, uh, yeah, uh huh. Big J fantasies. Yeah, Peter Piper peck him up, peck the pick a buck him. Pick a buck a buck him, my pocket took a buck him. You're the worker bee. The worker. Jay's a worker bee. I sip a papa hapa, hapa hapa dumpa, but dumpa dumpa pooping, paying with my pussy. All I need is a river. Oh, buddy.
Let's go monkey. get some sushi, like a family. Yeah, let's do it. Like two presentable adults. <laughs> You've been listening to the bonfire. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson at Big J Okerson on Twitter. I'm at Dan Soder on Twitter. And follow at the bonfire SXM on Twitter. We're going to start trying to put up video links and shit. We're going to be pumping it up. We're going to try to get our shit together, people, because you're good people. We're figuring it all out. And the Twitter people are awesome. Yeah, thank you for being nice. We don't deal with that asshole shit. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again, that the Bonfire fans on Oddball Tour. Great. Coming up in droves. That's great, People are loving it. Thank you guys for listening, because this is a fucking show that we're basically getting... We're still blown away with it. They let this bullshit like this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It says like uh, there's, there's no reason an adult shouldn't have stopped this. Already. <laughs> you know, Schumer said this to me backstage at Oddball, and it it's, it just goes across the board for show business sometimes. And by the way, it's probably why we get taken advantage of for so long. Because <laughs> yeah. when it starts happening or anything like this, you start going like, are they going to figure out at some point this is a stupid idea to give us this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Even though people love it and everything, people, yeah. like, some of them are going to be like, um, this is what, what are you doing? Did we do? He goes, did you just guys just sit down and practice kid and play for people listening on the radio? Like, yeah, sort of. That's what our original programming is. And that is what it is. <laughs> Two potheads that you gave access. How many central radios? Only live broadcasts. <laughs> yeah, it's us two assholes. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they don't figure it out, we will... Uh, we no will, show... Oh, we'll see. We'll we got be talking to you guys two Mondays from now. Yeah, but we got a new one Wednesday, so don't worry. We already have it in the fucking... In the pocket. Peace. Crackle, crackle, motherfucker. Bye.